to use individual right, windows, say here. of Jitsi. Uh, and I imagine you had a control. Try to show the possibilities of what happens when you have multiple feeds. I have two feeds, one from the, the camera up here. Um, this camera right there, that's on my laptop triple monitor. And then I have another camera over there. That's an iPhone, a recycled iPhone, just running Jitsi Meet. So I've got three Jitsi Meet windows that are being captured right now. And the idea is here, how do you get interesting collaboration happening through multiple feeds, multiple channels? Uh, the cool thing here is that uh, I'm actually using individual Jitsi windows, and it looks like already like uh, something fancy. But the idea here is that just two feeds and, and multiple Jitsi windows. So each one of these is, uh, so I've got a Jitsi window here, uh, Jitsi window here. If I close, if I shut down, what did I shut down? I don't know what I shut down there. I'm going to go back to meet.jit.c slash open source. Sorry, so I got myself again. Um, it's an interesting way to explore how you can feed multiple streams through a simple interface. So here, just by using multiple windows of Jitsi, we can get that. And imagine now taking each one of these windows. Uh, so take, uh, take each one of these windows that were on here and embedding them in a separate window, say just on the wiki. So let's, you know, let's take a look at, for example, the wiki. Um, there's a page, uh, flashy XM. So imagine, so it's an example. Of, imagine you've got a bunch of windows embedded in a wiki, and each one of them has a separate Jitsi Meet feed. So for example, put put a Jitsi Meet feed into this one window. Now you can have multiple people feeding into this. For example, this one one meeting. Uh, so it would be like say open source ecology room, and then another room say workshop, uh, and that could be a different feed. So you can have you can embed just a large number of feeds into a manageable platform. So imagine a bunch of people collaborating. You're trying to see what everyone is doing, and you can actually uh, view that real time within a wiki. So how would we do that? Um, let's see. Let's see if I can edit this real time to to give me an iframe um, of what I have to see if I can actually view the progress here in real time. So can I, for example, embed a Jitsi meeting so that in a wiki page which looks static, you actually have active live feed of video. Let's see if that's possible. Um, let me edit that. Um, let's see. Let's. Let's see if I can find the YouTube feed. Um, no, I don't know how to do that technically right now in terms of embedding that. Um, say I'm in this platform here, but ideally we would just have a simple well, how about an iframe? Simple iframe. Um, let's look at an iframe template. So say I pick the uh, Jitsi Meet URL. Uh, go to an example. Let's see. Here's an example. Oh, interesting. So what happens when I join the meeting? Oh, look at that. So if I embed that, okay, I see myself moving there, right? Okay, so if we do embed that, what we just showed here is that, say on a page like like this page here, you have uh, some kind of wiki page with a bunch of windows that are iframes, or this, this is just HTML, CSS, but imagine feeding a, a separate feed into each one of these windows, which would make for, for like hacked right away within the wiki, an immediate platform for uh, displaying what everybody is doing. So imagine, you know, you've got CAD design in one that's actually a real active uh, online uh, live feed, like a, like a stream and a bunch of these streams all over the place. So I think that could work, and I guess we have to test the limits of how much bandwidth is needed for that. Um, but if it's, say, 
uh, say it's you know 20 meg per channel you know, if you've got a gig one gig line you can have 50 such windows imagine like 50 people collaborating and you see fully what everybody's doing or it could be also feeds from the workshop or outside in real action um, to see what's going on so just uh, exploring possibilities of how we can do remote collaboration and participation as we scale the development methods to many many more people so that's just uh, just some ideas there